it has become a normal thing to see Sean and Wani having issues after each Saturday night bedroom. I don't know why it's like that. It's either Thursday pool party or Saturday night bedroom. And to tell you, just very little thing is what. Hello, guys. What's up? And welcome to Spicy Updates with Lovely On. I hope you guys are doing okay. You guys. Whoa. Happy Sunday. Do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. As always, you guys. So, yesterday, Saturday night party went on smoothly. And uh -uh, after the party, the housemates came back into the house. And that was when the camera moved to where these people were, having this kind of argument, trying to sort issues out, Sean, Wani, and Handy. And I'm like, what really happened? What really happened? I really, I couldn't really lay my hands or my fingers or what actually happened. I think either that probably he complained that she was tipsy or I think she was doing one kind of thing where he was and he was like, he's eating or he's doing something and that got Wani offended something but from where i started watching the one was just trying to explain herself why how they make her feel why, how they always make her feel and her sister was like don't always make this thing about you every time how they make you feel every time how they make you feel it's not really what of how you make the other person feel and she was like ah she's okay with this she's and the sister was like asking her has Sean ever said, like, since you were having issues all the time that you have issues, has he ever come to tell you that is like, I'm done with it or I'm okay? Why can't come you're the one saying it? So this, this conversation, they were just sitting down at the, um, I think it was at the lunch somewhere, having that conversation. So after some time, Ozzy moved past them and, you know, tried to, like, ask, but... He saw that they weren't really in that mood to entertain any other person apart from the three of them doing it. So later they stood up and went to the table, right? They, start, they still started off with this whole thing, arguing, you know, normal ch son trying to explain himself and trying to prove that he's saying the right thing. When he trying to claim, as they were having that conversation, when he went to pee, um, then Andy also talked, Andy told Sean that, um, okay, no. Handy told, yeah, Handy told Sean, first, she told Sean that Tofa, one time that um, Anita was tipsy, kind of misbehaving, that Tofa really took care of Anita so, so well, and Tofa was even, like, seeking for, seeking help, okay, solutions, how, what he can do to handle the situation and all that, so probably, instead of blaming, that's what he expects, um, Sean to do so while they were at the table you guys they were just talking there is a hidden beef between Wani and Onyekao I have to say it, no matter how they claim to like be fine be okay I think Wani Wani is not really seeing Onyeka as that friend okay if you come to Wani ex Handy I will tell you that the friendship is between Handy and Onyeka and not Wani Wani is just following them along because Handy is in there well, mm -mm, mm -mm. since and you guys yesterday night party, <laughs> Sean was just with Onyeka dancing. Like I know, Wani will not like that. Even while they were taking uh, pictures outside, as Sean when Sean took with Onyeka first, the letter he called Wani. If you actually watched when Wani and Sean were taking, you will, you will see her face. You will know that. She's not really too happy. So she's not really seeing Onyeka as. So when Onyeka joined at the table, I think to eat her food, ha, ah, Wani just stopped talking. She said, no, she's not going to talk where she is. Oh, she's not going to talk where Onyeka is. She just stopped talking. And son, maybe Sean, son, Sean continued saying what he, but my thing is, why can't these people resolve this thing? Why can't you just come to this resolution? I said, okay, everything is fine. But Wani is saying, I'm not getting this kind of thing. I'm not getting this. Thing. The way you, at a time, she even started accusing Handy that Handy is not even supporting her. Handy is one, being one-sided, supporting Sean. Handy said, no, I'm not being one-sided, but I'm just trying to tell you how it is. So later, she started talking to the sister. You know, Sean is on, um, is on the chopping block and who knows if he might be leaving tomorrow. So would you want you guys to just imagine he leaves tomorrow and this is how this night is going to be and tomorrow he leaves that is not going to be okay so that she shouldn't just like start making everything about herself about herself also consider how others feel you know what i mean and it's time to make me feel and it's time to make me feel make me feel make me feel like they literally had this conversation camera will move to those in the kitchen move to other persons still come back to meet them and i'm like what is the problem 
Is it that if both of you can't understand yourselves, you push your Reddit or end it already in the house? What if Sean leaves tomorrow? Let's just assume that Sean is leaving tomorrow. What if this young man leaves tomorrow? So this is the way you would have. That was the same thing Nelly was doing. In fact, it was Onyeka that told Nelly when they were changing the locker. What is it now? Why are you behaving like this? Such has been the one cooking for you from day one since we came to this house. Then Nelly was like, am I hungry? Did I tell you that I'm hungry? Like, what is the problem? So, like, you know what the problem is? Only can still told her the same thing. What if this young man, Suj, might be leaving tomorrow? That was the word she used. That Suj might be leaving tomorrow. So, what if this young man leaves? Because Suj was having his parents. What if this young man leaves tomorrow? And is it how it's going to be? Later, Suj walked in and, you know, but I think Suj and Nelly had that conversation because in the kitchen, there was something Suj was seeking clarity, asking her to, like, you know, he's always looking for a sign. Um... Um, and always looking for a sign of clarity, telling Nelly, hope if he if you come out, anything that really comes out of it or anything that happens, they are going to, so that Nelly should give him something like, something to hold on to and, well, I'm not really talking about them, but the point I'm trying to make is, these persons will see that their partner or their significant other is on the chopping block and is, um, up for possible eviction and tomorrow is going to be i said tomorrow today ganga is going to be a king size eviction but they won't do everything possible to see that that person you know they really talk with that person they make the person happy they i think sometimes it's just to overlook when he feels she's not really getting the exact care she's supposed to be getting from sean which is true which is the truth i'm not going to lie to you people which is the truth i'm not going to lie to you but then at the end of the day this is not your, the first time of seeing Sean. That is the way Sean is. That is the way Sean has been behaving towards her. Yes, she's like uh, the one taking care of the whole thing. She's the one carrying Sean on his head, on her head. Sorry, she's the one literally doing everything for the young man. And all he does is just to sit down there. Though sometimes he still shows to care, but he's not that person that is 100 or solely invested in caring for another or is it because he's Wani? Or probably he doesn't really love her that much. I don't really know because I feel he loves her. But yesterday you could see that it was really draining for Sean. In fact, Wani, you know how they talk very fast. Wani will not even allow him talk. She will talk, Handy will talk. Wani will talk, Handy will talk. And ha, huh, the young one will just kind of like shake his head. Oh, I'll be like, God, you, you, in his mind, he'll be like, what did I just get myself into? Like, it's becoming a routine. It's becoming a routine. Every market day, every three market day, every four market day, we are having the same thing. But I thank God. I think they were able, what Handy said actually um, sank into her ears. And it's not the one that would say, this one slept differently, this one slept differently. They were still on the same bed, though their sleeping position will tell you that all is not still very okay. But we don't know today's outcome, what's actually going to happen. If Sean is going to be saved yeah definitely i hope so i think so from what we have been seeing flying all around social media i don't believe any poll though we still come out to say voting poll results sometimes some are real some are not real but it depends on the computation people might just pull out the one the finalized one the c okay and some of us will lay our hands on it i'll bring it to you guys then they do their computation and how eminent that is why ebuka will always say that so that the ones people say they see, they see anywhere, you know that they also have the way they count their own votes, okay? They have also the way they do their own thing at the end of the day. So let's just hope and see what happens today. Know how many persons are leaving the house and how many persons are staying back. But whatever it is.